Hi all, hope you've had a blessed day today. <clears throat> today, I'd like to talk about 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. Be at peace among yourselves. In every walk of life, we need a leader. At work, you need a manager. In sports, you need a coach. In military, you need a general. And in the church, we need a pastor. We need people who will help move things forward, guide things along, and represent those who have no representation. Our pastors are charged with taking care of God's children, the members of the church. They're tasked with leading these children to God. Pastors have dedicated their life to serve God by serving others. Now, pastors don't lead the same way as other leaders in the world. They don't lead the same way as that coach, as that manager, as that general, as the president. Pastors are supposed to lead just like Jesus did. That's their primary purpose, to bring people to God and to serve them the same way that God serves us. It doesn't mean that we put our pastor on a pedestal. It doesn't mean that we hold him in high regard and put him close to the Lord. No, because pastors are people too. They put their pants on one leg at a time, just like we do. They breathe the same hair that we do. They have emotions just like we do. They feel anger and pain and love and, and laughter. But they choose to serve God by serving the church. And we should do everything we can to honor them. After all, pastors carry a lot of burden. They have a lot of pressure on them. So we need to treat them well. We need to remember the significant impact that they have on our lives and our journey with Jesus. So let's do everything we can to make sure our pastors know that they are well loved and appreciated. God bless you all.